Welcome once again to another episode of the Techno Wizard program. Today we're going to talk about how the choice of wire in your Tesla coil, you want to use good copper wire on a spool like this, or you know, shorter, depending on how much wire you need. What you don't want to use is this crappy comes in a box wire. This is steel, but even if it says copper like that, this is just thin, flimsy stuff. And, and I'll show you the difference between the exact same gauge wire on two identical coils. So yes, we're going to show you the comparison of the different kinds of wire. We're going to light up the old fluorescent bulb. As always, a little duct tape's good for you. And you're going to have a little fun with the uh, light bulb. In fact, we're going to see if we can light both of these fluorescent and incandescent light bulbs at the same time. Okay, let's talk about the coils that we're using. Uh, uh, today, the coil form is actually, well, the uh, primary is just a bit of speaker wire here, like this. You know, your regular old 16 gauge speaker wire. It comes in pairs. I just slip some down the middle so you get a single strand. I just wrapped it around an olive jar. You know the olive jars that are this semi-conical shape like this you see at the grocery store? That works great. And then there are these other olive jars at the grocery store. And one of them nests right into the other. Here is the other uh, coil. This is what I round with the crappy wire from that spool off the shelf that you just pull it out of the cardboard packing. Let's show you what the good coil does first. Alright, let's see here. Let's get in close here. Show you those uh, speaker wire windings. Same old uh, spark gap with the uh, those bells like that before. Same little something picrofarad uh, cap in the back. Just a little 30 kV, very low capacitance one. And here we go. Bring the light near it, and it lights up from a fair distance away. That's about six inches, give or take. Two nice little streamers there. Yeah, that's good stuff in there. Put this little, uh, it's actually a little cookie cutter, but really tiny cookies. Put that on top of it here, touching the output wire, and that's the little bulb. It's like a refrigerator bulb. So right up on top, so it just stands up like that. And check this out. Plasma globe. Watch how the frequency of the plasma globe varies as I vary the voltage through my variac. Voltage increasing. Voltage maxed out. See, that's not in tune now. Right about there is in tune. And uh, can we light two bulbs at once?
Oh, I can indeed. Okay, now watch this here. Let's put that aside. Same inductance, same gauge wire, but of a lower crappy quality here. Watch this. Nothing. Nothing at all. Crank it all the way up there. Nothing. Oh. Let's bring the fluorescent light up here. Yeah, no, no. Oh, it's barely a flicker. You're hardly getting anything out of it. Let's go ahead and just draw a touch. Yeah, but Piddly wings. Piddly wings. Nothing. And there you go. That's why quality matters when you're building anything including little olive jar Tesla coils. Tune in next time for another Techno Wizard show.